with the example of, of sadness. I, I woke up feeling sad actually a few days ago and um, it was interesting to, to wake up with this, just this sudden feeling of, of just sadness, of heaviness. And, um, and then interesting to see the, the immediate reaction um, was to then, okay, well, you know, oh God, you know, why am I feeling so sad this morning? <laughs> that was the first step of um, delving down into this bottomless pit of descriptions of this imaginary world of cause and effect, of looking to find who or what is the cause and who or what is the thing that I can blame for this feeling of sadness. And it was interesting to see how quickly I began to slip back into that habit of describing, oh gosh, um, but it was also interesting to see it was quite hard to now find something to really pin it on, even though that, that habit of trying to do that was there. And I began to do that and to look for what was the cause of the sadness, but then quite quickly recognised, I, I, I don't need to do this anymore. I, I, can, I can just relax for a short moment and just cut that whole story of suffering and confusion at the root. What is feeling the sadness? What happens when I stop describing it just for a short moment and recognize the basis of the sadness as this bright open intelligence? Ah, oh, there's the relief. There was the clarity and the perspective on the sadness. There was the capacity just to allow it to be as it was. It wasn't something that I had to do anything about. It wasn't something that I had to delve in for and speak about with everyone I met during the day to see what their opinion was about why I was sad. Instead, I could just rest naturally and I could continue about my day and it had no bearing on anything else that happened in that day. And a short time later, it was even like a, like a, a vague memory that I, was I sad this morning? I can't, yeah, I'm sure I felt that, but now it's gone. And the power that was extracted from that sadness was a, an immediate recognition of the suffering that is inherent when I misunderstand the nature of a feeling like sadness and the immediate connection and understanding for everyone that is suffering under that misapprehension, that really believes their sadness is an accurate description of them and is something that they need to do something about. So it's this incredible heart opening, oh gosh, that's, that's what it means to suffer. That's what it means, and now I have this choice, but I understand deeply what everybody else that is feeling the sadness, and then lost in this world of descriptions around it, and the suffering that they're going through. So there was an immediate extracting of the power there. 